could you share some of your thoughts on artificial intelligence uh, uh, potentially replacing financial services jobs? Yeah. So I, I think that most financial services jobs are sales oriented. They are. If you work on a trading floor, you work in sales. If you're the CEO of any financial services company uh, or any company for that matter, you're a salesperson. Uh, and if you're an investment banker, in order to make it to the top, you have to be a great salesperson because what happens is you have to make great relationships with CEOs and Fortune 500 companies and global companies in order to get their business. And so I don't think that artificial intelligence will ever outsource sales entirely because sales is about relationship and not product knowledge. Technology is very good at product knowledge, but it's very binary like that guy Data uh, from Star Trek New Generations. Um, so I think that the roles within financial services that eventually will get disintermediated or replaced by technology uh, include the ones where it's a very manual process, like trading, not all traders, but most trading positions. Um, so what people call execution trading now. Uh, and basically, computers can do that. You set the limit order, um, call option, strike price, uh, whatever it is, uh, and computers will do it for you. We all do it when we transact online anyway. So I think that a lot of technology jobs um, or technology um, products are going to take over the trading function. Uh, but sales will never be outsourced. In terms of picking stocks, um, there are some companies that do quite well uh, by creating these, these big black box Linux server farms, so to speak. So, for example, um, Renaissance Technologies, which is an amazing, amazing hedge fund. It, it's founded by this brilliant guy, Jim Simmons, uh, and, and his son, who actually lives out here in Berkeley. They have an office here as well in California. And what they do is they make 30 or 40 percent every single year, almost every year, almost every year. And they have a couple thousand computers or Linux servers uh, running uh, in a data center. And they pick stocks based on different inputs, for example. And they'd never tell us uh, what their inputs are or how their algorithm works in that black box. But for example, let's say it's, it's forecast to rain a lot or it has rained a lot this month. Then restaurant stocks will probably not do as well because people don't go out as often, especially for lunch while they're working uh, to, to eat if, if it's raining. Uh, and so these these black box um, trading algorithms uh, are really, really tough to master. And there's only a handful of companies that have done it correctly in the world. Uh, Goldman Sachs uh, had this product uh, called the uh, the Alpha Fund, which is similar to Renaissance. And they do something commensurate as well. And, and they do well as well. Uh, the only issue with these black box trading systems is, yes, they can pick stocks for you. But they cannot read a management team, you know, and, you know, if, if you're talking to the CEO in a public forum um, and the CEO is usually really upbeat and she or he is, is kind of negative uh, when asked certain questions, uh, then what happens is it might indicate it might that uh, business is not going that well. And, and computers can't really understand that yet. One day they'll be able to, but not at this point. Uh, and so the bottom line is, I think that trading jobs will be outsourced to technology uh, and you'll see more artificial intelligence based trading algorithms going forward as well. Now, there's two sectors that haven't really been disintermediated or disrupted by technology uh, as much as others. You know, one is financial services and the other one is healthcare because they're both heavily regulated industries. Well, thank goodness we're starting to see now a lot of innovation in those sectors, especially the fintech or financial technology uh, sector. Um, I used to be on the advisory board of uh, a, a large um, angel investment firm here, uh, Bootcamp, uh, picking um, uh, fintech companies. The name of that company that picked those uh, companies to invest in was Plug and Play Tech Center. Uh, and basically, a lot of big banks are now partnering with angel uh, or boot camp uh, organizations like Plug and Play Tech Center uh, in order to have them help them come up with new ideas or new startups to invest in uh, from a tech perspective. And so Citigroup, for example, uh, does that. They, they invest in, in Plug and Play Tech Center. Uh, that, that's publicly disclosed. And Citigroup actually has a very big venture capital division here uh, in Palo Alto on University Street. Uh, and so a lot of these banks or financial services companies are pouring billions of dollars every single year into R&D, into coming up with new fintech uh, ideas. And I'm sure a lot of that money is going to artificial intelligence-based algorithmic um, uh, R&D as well. Uh, and so a lot of large banks like Wells Fargo and B of A spend about $10 billion, that's right, every year uh, on, on technology. 
and they have their own what are called sandboxes internally in their companies where they'll beta test cool new products. And I think a large part of that in the future is going to be beta testing artificial intelligence based algorithms. The last thing I'll say about that is uh, there's a company that I invested in. I, I sold my stake recently uh, called Palantir. Uh, it's still private. And Palantir is now the largest employer uh, here in Palo Alto, bigger than Facebook. And what Palantir does is they solve the world's biggest problems using complex algorithms. Uh, and so what one of their products uh, is called, um, uh, I think it's called Metropolis. I think so, yeah. Uh, and one of, one of their products actually was used to um, help the, Ob the uh, Obama administration find Osama bin Laden. And that product is actually also used uh, to help financial services companies uh, uncover vulnerabilities in their systems using artificial intelligence. Big governments use Palantir software as well uh, for uh, human trafficking and solving um, you know, the war on drugs globally, that sort of thing. And so if you're interested in learning more about artificial intelligence, I think the poster child best company on the planet right now in that area is a company called Palantir. And if you have additional questions about that, uh, please let me know. And thanks as always.